And that's why, Kujo, I think we should think outside the box. And that's why a psychiatric hospital is trying to think outside the box. And that program that we are currently running, we call it the calling services. Franca is actually heading that. Our main aim is to bring mental health care service to the doorstep of the ordinary Ghanaian, because really that is my vision for mental health in Ghana. And I live for the day whereby someone does not have to move from his or her house to come to a psychiatric hospital just to receive care. Yeah. So we, we thought, what could we do? We got phones, I think last year, um, because of the COVID, we couldn't open up the facility for people to come in mm. to see what we usually do. We usually call it open day during the mental health week. But what we did do was to do this calling services. We said we would do it for three days. So we bought phones for the PR team. We bought some credits on it and asked people to call in if they had issues. If you do not have um, money for credits, just um, text, we will call you back. And we did that. The numbers of people that called in. Mm -hmm. So they call in, we have a psychiatrist, we have a psychologist, we have um, nurses. nurses, we have professionals on standby to listen to your call. The person who picks, if the person can deal, deal with it, the person deals with it. If the person cannot, the call is transferred to someone. We help the person seek help mm -hmm. near the person or if the person has to come to us. The three days were so successful that we felt we couldn't leave it at that. So the facility extended it for two more weeks. And they did get quite a number of people mm. calling in. We had to do that this year. We couldn't fund, I mean, we couldn't continue it. But this year we thought, well, in the October month, being the mental health month, let's do it again. Let's take the services out there to the people. We started on I think Monday, yeah. 11th. We wanted to start it on the 1st, but due to funding and all that, we couldn't start. So we started on Monday. She has one phone. <laughs> and then day, in addition to her usual work that she's doing, she's dealing with about 10, 10 or to more 15. people. Yes. That is just for my for phone. Her. And yeah. we have about seven people taking calls. And most of them are telling us the numbers of people who are calling in and the issues they are discussing. Franca was just tell, sharing with me that she actually had to sit with someone on the phone for like 30, 30 minutes, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Help, trying to help the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can do it, could you? We can bring mental health to the doorstep. But of your by doing brain. this, you don't make money out of it. We don't because make the people are not paying for this no. service. Well, so those who can afford to pay, I mean, those who can afford to call, they are using their own resources to call. Mm -hmm. But we also would look at other services. Could it, if the person needs medication, could it be that we can deliver okay. the medication so that we also get some okay. form of revenue? Uh, mm -hmm. revenue or so so we, would, we are thinking about it. We are building a proposal because the our main uh, medium to long term goal is to set up a telemedicine unit in a class psychiatric hospital with all these um, services attached so that we would still be serving the ordinary Ghanaian, but we can also try and make some revenue to sustain that um, service. We are not trying to make profits out of it. All we want to achieve is to bring uh, the mental health care to the doorstep of the ordinary Ghanaian. So if we can do this with just a little bit of support, I'm sure we can do more. Could you, I, I know I'm talking too much, but please forgive me. I have to say, when we did our budget for this month's um, call in service, it was 21,000. I thought, oh, 21,000, I can easily get it. Could you, up till now. <laughs> I've called people personally that I thought top men who would be interested. Could you, up till now, no one city. It was one professor of mine in the UK who has donated five iPads.